Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I know you're not, but you're gonna I be. really don't, I really don't <laughs> get it, I'm not gonna lie. You've literally never played a Final Fantasy. I've never played any Final Fantasy games. Oh I don't know what they're about. Oh my god. I do know about Tifa because yes. of you. Yes. And I know about Cloud because of something ages, oh, ages and ages ago. Cloud. Yeah, yeah, but apart from that, I have no idea what they're about. I've literally waited for this game forever. Like, since I, since I played the original and loved it, and then it was always teased. Everyone always says, oh my gosh, a remake. Like, but no, it's actually happening. So we have saw all the gameplay and like the, you know, grand shots of Midgar and everything. And this trailer is kind of all about the more ridiculous aspects of the story, of which there are lots. So the ridiculous aspects. Yes. So obviously, I don't know how much you know about Final Fantasy VII story. I, nothing. nothing. <laughs> okay. So it's kind of like, it starts off in sort of like a really gritty, kind of almost steampunk dystopian uh, city called Midgar. And it's a very serious kind of story about like how people are utilizing the planet's energy, using it for literally running electric electricity and you know using the power of the planet for their own ends basically and killing the planet at the same time. So there's a little bit of undercurrent of like eco-terrorism and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, there's also, you know, talking wolf flying things and, you know, uh, what? like cross-dressing and uh, just just lots of silliness and summons you know what summons are okay well summons are like uh these beings that you can call upon in battle to do really powerful attacks um and they're in basically every final fantasy you know okay <laughs> let me rewind every <laughs> final just assume the answer to every question is no <laughs> i don't so every final fantasy is completely different okay so they then... all take place in a completely different world there are some overarching uh kind of names, not specific characters, but names that sort of come back. There are some overarching creatures and summons are almost always in every game, but their appearance and how they work changes. When you say different worlds, do you mean like parallel universes or like... I guess kind of, basically you can assume that the world of Final Fantasy VII and the world of Final Fantasy VIII, for example, they have no idea each other exists. There's no, they don't, they don't reference each other. The only things that kind of cross over are there are Moogles in all the Final Fantasy the white, worlds. Yes. Okay, I know what they are because they're really cute. And Chocobos. They all the have Chocobos. Ones I put in the Skyrim video. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know things. <laughs> and then there, are, weirdly, there's always characters called Sid. Um, Sid. Yes, but they're never. Uh, they don't know about each other. Like they're not the same Sid. <laughs> So anyway, shall shall I just allow you to watch this? Please do. First, yeah. we'll watch it first, and then I'm gonna make I'm gonna I'm gonna talk at you about it. Yes, <laughs> not being talked at. <laughs> what I had in mind when I asked for your help way back when. Feels like we're flying high these days. <laughs> now, more than ever. He's a keeper, all right. Yeah. What is happening? I'll see myself in. Thanks. I'm and amazing. who are you? Now it's my turn. <laughs> How many characters are in this game? Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Wait a minute. Those eyes. <laughs> Was he hitting on him? <laughs> Corneo's got certain tastes. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. Oh, whoa. It'll be fine. Right? After you. <laughs> <laughs> You led us on a merry chase, Aerith. Uh, there are like 20 characters already. Oh my god. I love that everyone was tweeting about. <laughs> what? Look at that! Is that a frog? <laughs> Look! President Shinra. Now then, my dear sister, and 
peaceful allies of wicked Mutai, our sworn enemy. Mutai! The hell we are! <laughs> you still don't understand your nobleness. She's cool. I like her. Is that a summon? That's Shiva, yeah. Oh. Cloud! What the fuck just happened? <laughs> oh. <gasps> it's so pretty! Oh, is that what this is showing? Yeah, it's, it's pretty. so pretty. I'm okay. enjoying this colour scheme as well. So. I realise that probably didn't make a lot of sense. It made literally, what is the main plot point? Who is my main big enemy? Well, Who so am I? I'm Cloud, you're, right? You're, well, you're all of the party. So Final Fantasy, you are main, you're right, like Cloud is the main character, okay. but you do control other uh, characters. And I think so far, the only characters that you have met that you will control are Barrett, who's the guy with the gun arm. Yep. And Tifa, who is our favourite. Who is our favourite? Who is our favourite? Oh, and also Aerith, sorry, whatever. I do know um, what happens to Aerith because Aerith. Uh, yeah. Well, so this is a contentious thing. Okay. Uh, her name, I think, now is officially Aerith, but in the original translation, um, it was Eris. 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 A E R I S. I think uh, so, because, I mean, originally it was, her name was sort of like Earth, you know? Oh, okay, yeah, that um, makes sense. And I think it just, the, the S and the TH got a bit lost in translation. But, so. Oh my god. So, it's all very, very exciting. I realise it probably, you don't have a lot of context for things that I happen I have literally there. no context. There was like, I was like, okay, robots, I understand robots. Robots Wait, good. no, there's okay. a weird demon thing like popping up. Oh, yeah, so you this, take it away. This is the very start that was like kind of like iconic because like the original was always known for, you know, the swooping shots of Midgar and then it sort of zooms in on the train and the train's speeding into the station and then Cloud sort of backflips off it. It's awesome. Cool. Um, this. <laughs> All these ghosty things are, um, that's the the train graveyard. So that's an area in Midgar that you kind of go back and forth a few times in. So there are ghosts there? Yes. Tr ghost it, trains? Is, what? <laughs> oh. I thought you were, and also the ghosts. Is, I thought you were being serious. I was like, because there might be. I don't yeah. know nothing about this No, there, there are. They're, like, they're, like, and that's Jesse. So Jesse, Biggs and Wedge are all, like kind of your compadres in Avalanche. So Avalanche is the eco-terrorist group run by Bart. Um, okay. They, at the start of the game, they hire Cloud because uh, he's like a mercenary ex-soldier. He's the muscle, basically. Okay. Because they want to shake up Shinra, which is the power company who are sucking the life force out of the planet. Okay. Um, so Tifa is, Cloud's, uh, Tifa is Cloud's childhood friend. That's her bar called Seventh Heaven, and it's also Avalanche's HQ. Oh, she owns a bar? She does, That's right? cool. She's awesome. That's cool. She's the best thing ever. Okay. <laughs> That's... Now, this is interesting, because this is brand new, and that character... We've never seen him before. Has she, he got a par um, he's party got, at the back, business at the front, mullet going Yeah, we don't, there. we don't, I don't, he, that's how you know he's a bad guy. Oh, because really? No one good sports a mullet, all right? You like, heard it here first. That's not a good look. So I, I think it's kind of, so this is a brand, this is actually the first time that we've seen from this remake that it is stepping outside of kind of the, written lore of the original. It's the first time it's doing something that's properly different story-wise. Um, and I think the kind of consensus is that this guy is another soldier, or he's actually a member of soldier. Now, soldier, which is some... <laughs> I, I mean, really this is sorry. like a third... So, okay, it's yeah, more layers of things. So, so Cloud was a... Uh, as far as you're concerned at this part of the game, Cloud is an ex-member soldier. Soldier is an elite fighting force that is that are, who are uh, created by Shinra to sort of keep the peace. You mean like biologically created or? Yes, like... they are enhanced with Mako, oh. which is so Mako is the energy source that they're sucking out of the okay. planet. So they're kind, kind of like Captain America. Exactly like Captain America. Understand. So they're in they're sort of infused with Mako. The one exception to that is. Sephiroth, who is the baddie. Is he the one with the one wing? Yes. Okay. He was injected with Mako while he was still in the womb. 
So mm -hmm. he was created to be this super soldier. And every, every sort of soldier, like, well, not every soldier, but there has been attempts since then to recreate him because he's because he went a bit bad. Is that why he has one wing? Because he's, like, being mutated in the womb? So the one wing thing is actually kind of... No, it... Well, that's a good question. Because I always, I always thought it was thematic because you don't really see that wing. The wing doesn't really come into it all that much mm. in the original game until maybe the very end. Can he but, fly with it? No. Well, he... No, he basically becomes a god by the end of the game. Cool. Um, but anyway, this guy could be a clone of Sephiroth, or he could be another f failed experiment. Why do you think they added a new character? That's a really good question, and one that I just feel like they just dropped it in there and didn't like reference it at all. Like, I guess maybe because this new game is episodic, they're trying. Oh, was it episodic? Yes. Oh. Because it's oh. it's it's just too large to fit into one game. Okay. So the first game is basically only up until like. A very early stage in the original. There's so much more game to go after that. Oh my god, I had no idea. So I feel like maybe this guy is sort of they're they're kind of trying to put a bit more of the long term context of who, you know, Sephiroth is, what Soldier's Deal is, what Cloud's connection to all that is, a bit earlier in the game. Okay. And also maybe to um, to you know give them some boss fights earlier on. That makes sense. Because honestly, in this part of the game, up until they've uh, confirmed that this, you know, bit of story happens, in the original there are no summons either. So they're obviously, but obviously like it's a full, you know, sized game at this point. So they don't want to, you know, have no summons at So the summons only come into the game when you're more powerful, is that why? Okay. Mm -hmm. right. well, summons are, con are um, connected to materia and at that part of the game in the original, you don't have any summon materia. You don't. You only get that once you leave Midgar. It's m okay, you should, you can explain, I'm going to save my questions for okay. the end. Okay, all right. <laughs> Tifa, Tifa, awesome. Is, look at those abs! Is fitness a big part of her, like, oh, yeah. character? Because well, she's, she's basically, she punches. Oh, Which is, nice. I think, like, one of the reasons I loved her when, like, because normally in RPGs, at least when I was playing them growing up, it was the fem female characters were always mages. And healers. And healers. Yeah. She was like, fuck that, I'm just going to go and punch some people, like, in <laughs> the face. Her. Yeah, and she just roundhouse kiss, kicks people. It's oh, awesome. Yeah, nice. These are so these... Right. Yeah! Is that the big... Okay, what's this guy feel? <laughs> so Androgynous guy, gal. Oh, oh no, no, and he, like, I had a big crush on Reno. Actually, do you know what? This game is just, a, it's a bye thirst trap. I just can't <laughs> see everybody in it. He is a trap. Um, he, so that's Reno, and he is part of the Turks, who are a private organization. No, sorry, that's too many. You've got three organizations. Calm down. They're they're hired Stop. by Shinra as well. So like they're they work for Shinra. Like Those are Turks. Shinra guards behind them. So the Turks are like kind of they do, they're hired to do the dirty work basically. Okay. Um so it's Reno, Rude, who's the bold guy you're about to see. Okay. Sung and Elena. Um, okay. They're the main ones, and so in the original they're kind of like they start off you fight them a lot, but actually they sort of respect you by the end, and you, they can kind of, depending on some of your choices, they can sort of decide not to fight you. Oh, cool, um, I love like that. And then uh, in Advent Children, uh, which is the film that kind of carries on from this, they sort of made them a little bit more likable and a little bit more, not anti-hero, but like, just the, by the end, they're kind of on your side. Oh, cool, okay. So I feel like this is a, this is a continual continuation of them sort of making them a bit more Fun because they were the com they were the comic relief a lot in, in oh, uh, like Team Rocket totally yeah ah, very much so okay I understand yeah. yeah and he's just awesome I do love his outfit oh it's so good he's very look pretty. at that it's so I wish got ponytail didn't notice ponytail yeah and there's we uh, stun baton so that's, that's rude rude or Mr Universe depending on your point of view Mr Universe. Mr. Worldwide. Like, well, no, Mr. Stop. Worldwide. Why does he say that? Why does he go like those eyes? Because that's oh, like, right. that's very romantic. So that's on Eris boobs. It's it's. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind there. of um, that's a really good question. He and it doesn't it doesn't really show it up in this game. I don't think. But in the original, everyone comments on Cloud's eyes because soldiers who are infused with Mako get a glow in their eyes. Oh, okay. So his, his eyes kind of just look normal there, but it was inferred in the game that they would kind of give off this sort of uh, eerie glow. Yeah. So that's why he's saying that, because it means he knows he was in Soldier. That's cool. Those eyes. I just thought he was just... So 
this is the first bit, this is the first sort of evidence we see that the cross-dressing section is going to probably be in the remake. Like that was, it's an infamous bit in the original game that um, Don Corneo, who you're about to see, he is a pimp that runs this Walmart with uh, a very he's seedy a underbelly. Sugar one. Yes. Um, and in order to get an audience with him, Tifa and Aerith decide that they're going to dress up and be presented to him. Oh, uh, well. But. In that way. Yes, but Cloud was like, this is too dangerous, blah, blah, blah. So they're like, well, you can dress up with us then. And in the game, you do do that, and depending on whether you get, so you can do all these little challenges, like depending on whether you do squats or find an extra extra little bits and pieces like perfume, underwear, you get sewed a really nice dress. I'm sorry, Find what? a really nice wig. You can make Cloud out to be like the hottest one and Don Corneo can pick him. What? I know. I have tears in my eyes. That is it's amazing. kind of incredible. It's amazing. So are the squats to get you a better butt? I mean, they, they certainly, right, so that's Don Corneo. Okay. So um, the, the, it definitely doesn't hurt, but actually you're doing the squats because someone at the gym has a really nice wig and they say, well, the only way I'm going to give you the wig is if you do some squats with us. <laughs> And it's really Amazing. hard. You have to, it's a little, it's basically how many you can do in like, is it a minute? 40 seconds? I is can't that, remember. Do you just tap buttons to do you, it? It's actually, no, it's multi button. You have to go, there's a button to go down mm -hmm. and a button to come up. And it's, I think there's like three buttons. So you have to go boop, 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 boop. And oh if my you, God. And if you miss out, like that, it can, because you have to, you'll get a wig regardless, but if you have to do it really well to get the best wig, to get the best outcome, oh. to get cloud Oh my pick. God. And if you listen, I don't know if they've confirmed it, but it sounds like Mark Hamill is Don Corneo. Listen. Be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. That sounds right. a lot like the, the Joker. Joker. I know. After so that's this is when they're trying to dress that's them up. Yeah, that's them, like, talking about Oh my god, that's amazing! Isn't that so good? It would have been really disappointing if you they had just, like, glossed over it. That's son. That's so he's son. one of the other Turks. And okay. I think that's when, because she's uh, protecting Marlene there, that's when he kidnaps her and they uh, they make off with her. Who's the girl? That's Marlene, um, that's Bart's daughter, Marlene. Whose daughter? Barrett, the guy with the gun arm. Oh, his daughter. Yes. Okay. So many characters. This is like kind of like a big showdown um, at the round about the end of the Midgar section. Okay. And it's kind of tragic, but it's awesome. What's that bit when he's I... walking through the oh, subway car? So there's multiple sections of that, but um, th when in the original game uh, they have like fake IDs and stuff because these uh, sort of security bypasses go through the cars, and if you're caught without. Um, the proper identification because obviously they're terrorists at this point um so they'd get in trouble if they got caught so and they originally had to run through the carriages quickly before the oh the, okay the and you could get m mugged and stuff if you ran through so what? like you'd have to run back grab your money and then run back the other way again um i have to go back because like Whoa. we must we must a few no, times there no no go for it uh, so much That's stuff so honestly, right like, there is a lot of things so yeah so that's that and then i don't know what this is from it looks like it's in a reactor or something but like tifa just being an absolute oh, body badass, strength i am in constant awe it looks like a reactor but yeah. that's new yeah do you think that means they're that's including as well her and more bits of the game I really like hope so. well actually um it's much, much, much later in the original, but she does take over as the main character for a while. Awesome! Yeah. And this is 100% my aesthetic in life, every day, <laughs> always. Look maybe at they're, her! Maybe they're trying to show her more as like, actually like what she does to be so melee yeah. focused. And I which is really love sweet. love it! Frog, look at this tiny little buster yeah, sword! Uh, sorry, no. Sorry. Bubble breath. Is he, is Cal, is, is he a frog? Yes, so you can get turned into a frog in the original. There were like a couple of um, enemies that uh, did this move called Frog Song. Yeah, it what? turned into a frog. And it was really annoying because you could only like attack, do really crap attacks What's the bubble breath? Do you just blow bubbles? You just, yeah, it's just a tiny little attack. Are the enemies that turn you into frog magic? Yeah, some of them are frogs themselves. Um, it's a status effect and you know, like you can have it taken off you oh as well. My God. But the thing that I love is he's got a tiny little buster sword Yeah, that back. is very cute. So I wonder if the other characters, when they get turned into frogs, do, like does Tifa have tiny little boxing gloves? Tifa just has like braces it's down. so cute! Ribbit. <laughs> okay. It's a big fight. Now this is cool as well because this is... Um, that guy? So that's President Shinra. He owns the Shinra oh. Power Company. So in the original game, he shows up when you're about to blow up 
this, this is towards the end of the Midgar section where he shows up and he's like, ah, I'm not gonna let you get away with this. And then he calls in the Airbuster and it's like one of the big fights um, of this section. It's, no spoilers. Um, but anyway, they've, they've sort of changed it slightly that he doesn't show up in person, but it's a big hologram and that makes a lot of sense because why would the president of the company put himself in danger? Surely you just shoot him. Yeah, you exactly. Like Ifor, right? or, um, if you were Aoife. <laughs> if, if you were me, Tifa, you would shoot him. If you were yes. Tifa or Cloud, it's happening. <laughs> you just shoot him and be like, well, that's it. I am Job literally, done. I am literally down and my best friend's phone is Tifa. So really? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I like, and it's actually, it's just visually nicer. Like instead of him just standing there and then jumping on a helicopter and flying away, this is a much slicker way of doing it's it. It's more intimidating as yeah. well. Yeah. Much more intimidating. Okay, then who's the guy with the crazy collar who comes up later? The crazy collar. Okay, he, uh, okay. he's also yeah, you like let this. Me know. This guy. Oh, that's Heidegger. You're, you know what? I never noticed that that was two different people. That's interesting. Heidegger is, um, uh, he's like he works for the president. He's in his office as well, and oh, okay. he, um, I think he's like ch chief of. Uh, war or operations or Chief something? Of war. Yeah, he's amazing he's some, title. He's some, he's some military sort of guy. Like he's okay. in charge of like whatever else. But here he's talking about Wutai, and that's a place in the original that they kind of um, you do you can go there, but I think it's optional. But uh, they they reference the Wutai conflict a lot, but it never really goes into a lot of depth about it. So it's interesting that he would say this in an early trailer because it. It sort of infers that they're going to flesh that out a little bit. Maybe they're adding more to that section as well, like mm. the new character. Yeah. Angry robots. Yeah, so many. Angry okay, this guy. So, oh, is that a summon? That's a summon. That's he a looks frisk. cool. He's bad ass. Amazing. Right? So if, you do your bit, then I'm going to ask my question. Okay. So there are so the summons that um, are kind of like universal across all of them. There are some summons that aren't in all games, and then there are summons here that are like basically ubiquitous. If Frit is one, Shiva is another. So is that the amazing ice one that I like? Yeah. yeah cool. Shiva is always ice. If Frit is always fire, and um, I, I'm not sure if there's another one here. It kind of looks like Odin, but it could be an, an enemy. Odin. As well. Yeah. There's an Odin summon in this, and he's on Sleipnir and everything. Oh. Ah. Well. Yeah. So do summons like? have their own personality and character, or are they just monsters that kind of get brought out in each game? Well, it's interesting because they they change from game to game. Like, in this, it's it's just they were never really incorporated or really explained. They were just things that you had. They were basically tools in battle and never really talked about elsewhere. But in Final Fantasy X, for example, they became a real core part of the gameplay, um, and they're they were revered in the world. There was a whole story as to how they came about, what made them, what, and they did have personalities. So I'd really like to see them do a little bit more with that because I like it when they sort of contextualize. And this, I think like in Final Fantasy X, the summons were actually quite um, tragic in a lot of ways. I mean, why would they help you? Yeah, exactly. No, I know. And like, they're such powerful beings. Why are they can like they're basically Pokemon? Like, you just throw them out whenever. Oh, you really? Like. Yeah. So, do you use magic to summon them? Or yes. They... Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so that's Amazing that's Pokemon. really interesting. It's cool to hear someone who's never really ha had that knowledge sort of asking that. Odin! I think it might oh! be. A... That's okay, Shida. she's also amazing. I like she's, her. She's really Odin! cool. I think it might be an enemy, but it's hard to say. It would be cool if they made them. Okay, what was this? When this happened, you like went like. <gasps> yes. Is that like a big part of the game? Yes, it is. That's kind of when. Yeah, is it shit, spoiler? Shit kicks off. Yeah, okay. I don't want to spoil it, but um, yeah, it's cool to hear it from like the perspective of someone who's not bogged down with so much knowledge. So this is cool as well because this is when, in retaliation for these guys trying to like stand up against. Um, Shinra, Shinra drops an entire pl the way the way Midgar is structured is that it's got the underneath and then it's got like it's basically called the rotted pizza. It's like all these what? plates are suspended above and they're like and they're divided into sections. They drop a plate on the bottom and it kills scores of people. You mean like floating bits of uh, metal? Yeah. Like yeah, it's like it's suspended like suspended with pillars you can see there. Oh. Um they drop a plate killing like hundreds of thousands of people and blame these guys. Fuck, dude. Um, and you never really get the scale of of what just happened in the original game because obviously they were a little bit um, restricted. Catastrophic. And this is them reckoning like that was our fault. We got these people killed. Why are there plates? 
because I think like it was to separate the because they underneath is called the slums. That's where they just shoved people that they didn't care about, and then the richer people would live on the top. Um, on the plates. Yeah. So did they not just kill loads of rich people in the plates as well when they drop them? Don't know. They never really. It's not really gone into a lot of detail. Um, hmm. But yeah, basically, Shinra just have no, absolutely no regard for life because the energy that they use. Um, hope it's not a spoiler, but the energy of the planet is actually the souls of dead people as well. What? When you die in this world, your energy returns to the planet. Um, what? Yeah. So they're using like they're using dead people. Yeah. To power. What the fuck, the man? And stuff. Yeah. But anyway, I know that made absolutely no sense, but you can see how exciting it is. So yeah. Like, even just like when you can, when like a single frame can mean so much, and you can just pack so much into like what two minutes forty nine seconds. Yeah, that was an exciting. insane amount of. It's why it was so confusing at first because there were so many different things. It wasn't like. In a typical trailer, you have like, hit, let me establish yeah. something characters, and this is a hint of the story. That was just like, <laughs> <laughs> everything. But I mean, it's made for the fans like you, isn't it? Like, they want to make sure that you know that what's going to yeah. be in it, what you can look for. Which is really exciting. But also, I hope that, you know, I'm actually surprised the amount of people that have never played the original that are watching these trailers now and being like, oh. That looks kind of interesting, you know? It's cool seeing the different, the amount of variation there is in different gameplay. Like, mm. I saw fights, I saw Tifa doing yeah. her amazing thing. Like, the mini games, it seems like there's loads of different things in there, which is really, really cool. And actually, the original was known for how many different mini games and, like, just different ideas that it had. The cross dressing thing is fucking awesome. I, mean, I cannot like... wait to see that. Like, it's so. And there's so much to do in that section, in particular. Like, a wall market, it has so many little side quests and so many hints of stories that may not amount to anything or that you could come back discs later in the original and it would you know there would be another uh, you know whole thing there that you just missed the first was the original on multiple discs yeah how big is this game going to be when it's fully released? I mean, that's the question, isn't it? Like, because I'm sorry if this is the beginning. This is two Blu-ray discs. And what? It's, yeah, it's it, like, and that's only episode one. I. Oh my god. I think, I think we'll be very old by the time this comes around. But you know okay. what? Okay. No, but now I understand why it's such a big deal. Because yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, you know, don't know anything about it. But I thought this was like the, the entire thing. game. No. It's huge. Jesus it is Christ. Huge. And like, yeah, not to bring the tone down or anything, but everyone's so beautiful. I'm just like, ah, they're Tifa. all very ah, pretty. It's yeah. hard not to be attracted to everyone yeah. in that trailer. Very it's hard. Possible. Especially Aerith. Aerith? Are you saying Aerith is better looking than Tifa? I'm saying that I have my own preferences okay, when it comes to the lady folk. And the fact that she's in all pink with her awesome, okay, like, yeah, cropped well, actually, you know red what? jacket she's, is fucking it's amazing. It's very your aesthetic. It is okay, very fine. my aesthetic, yeah. All right, well, then really cool. I guess that works out fine because yeah. I can share. You can share. <laughs> Don't have to share, even better. Okay, well, thank you very much for uh, watching uh, two people, one being very excited about a game, one being very confused. Um, if you'd like to see more, I actually uh, played the TGS demo um, and there's a link to that on screen now or there's a link to a couple more Final Fantasy videos. Click on one of those and we will see you soon for more stuff. Bye! Bye.